Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. On Roku, in the sports section, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. The vanity code, if you're adding us on the Roku site, is Dwyer Boxing News, one word. On iTunes, same thing, Dwyer Boxing News. For our premium YouTube channel, for paid picks, monthly subscriptions, that's Dwyer Sports Betting. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now lately we've had a lot of talk about hand speed. Amir Khan just put on a hand speed festival in beating Devin Alexander. He clearly has some of the fastest hands in the sport of boxing. But let's talk about a glamour division. When I was a kid, really the top division, the one everyone looked at, was the heavyweight division. Right? Casual fans might not know a lot of boxers out there. But everyone seems to know who the heavyweight champion of the world is, Vladimir Klitschko. Right? In the heavyweight division, who has the fastest hand speed? Just close your eyes for a second and think about it. Now, in my opinion, it's this guy, and he seems to be unfairly maligned by the media because of his appearance and because of his soft-spoken persona. He's an unbeaten fighter. His name is Andy Ruiz. Right? The guy is world-class, and he is a serious threat to every heavyweight on the planet. Understand, Ruiz is just now getting his experience. He's just now fighting world-class fighters. But make no mistake, this guy has blinding hand speed for a heavyweight. And let me point out, I know there are other guys with quick hands. David Hay has very quick hands. But David Hay's hand speed is a little bit different because Hay is really an ambush fighter. He likes to be outside, then he likes to blitzkrieg you. Right? Andy Ruiz is different. He's a chess player. Right? He stands in front of you and then he unloads. Right? He's not looking for the one big shot. He's looking to topple you with a combination. But here's where it gets interesting with Andy Ruiz. Here's where we really need to have a serious discussion on him. Because Ruiz is bigger than most heavyweights, right? He has some, what looks to be extra weight on him. There's an ongoing dialogue in the boxing community on his level of fitness, right? I think that dialogue is completely misplaced. Understand his weight gives him a competitive advantage because Andy Ruiz knows how to shift his weight. He has hand speed, but if you look at his record, you're going to find out he's a knockout puncher. The guy has a greater than 70% knockout ratio. If you want to see really one of the best heavyweight performances of the last five years, I would encourage you to look at Andy Ruiz's destruction of then unbeaten Joe Hanks. It's thorough. It's comprehensive. Ruiz has the hand speed advantage. Ruiz throws the shorter punches. More importantly, Ruiz, because he shifts weight, has built-in leverage. Right? His hand speed aren't arm punches. Right? He's actually throwing punches with strong intentions. Now, he has a fight coming up, and it's against Sergei Lakovic, right? Now, let me say this. I like Andy Ruiz in that fight big. I know Lakovic is the guy who's fought the bigger names, right? He's fought guys like Robert Hellenius, Brian Jennings, Deontay Wilder, Nikolai Valuev, Lehman Brewster, Shannon Briggs. Right? He famously beat Brewster. He actually held the WBO World Heavyweight title at one time. Right? But understand, 
Lakovic is now 38 years old. Right? Speed kills. But speed particularly kills older fighters who've been relatively inactive. Right? The reflexes just aren't there anymore. Lakovic has only fought once in 2014, and that was against a guy with a 5 and 11 record. Understand, before then, he only fought once in 2013, once in 2012, once in 2011. Right? So now here he is against a guy who, in my opinion, has the chance to be heavyweight champion. Right? I would talk about Ruiz more. It's just that Ruiz hasn't been around that long. Right? He hasn't fought the tough guys in the sport. But make no mistake, this guy is a serious threat. Right? I believe he's special. You need to take a look at the hand speed here. You need to take a look at the persona Andy Ruiz has. Understand, he's a soft-spoken big man. He's 6'2". He might look flabby. He's one of the better athletes in the heavyweight division. The hand speed clearly is there. The accuracy clearly is there. The punching power clearly is there. I like Andy Ruiz over Sergei Lakovic, right? The fight's in Phoenix, Lakovic's home area. The fight's only a 10-round fight. So you always need to be aware of distance, right? If it were a 12-round fight, you'd have to question the 38-year-old even more than you would in a 10-round fight. But let's just say, I think Lakovic is going to have absolutely no hope of keeping up with Andy Ruiz's hand speed, right? I think it's only because Ruiz, right, has a buzz cut, haircut, looks friendly, has extra weight, kind of looks a bit like Gabriel Iglesias, the comedian, right? It's only because of his appearance that people don't understand that he's a real talent, right? This guy has a chance to really go far. I think he beat Sir, um, Sergei Lakovic, right? I'll just say Lakovic is the guy who fought Deontay Wilder and got rabbit punched to death and knocked out in the first round, right? Just understand that Deontay Wilder doesn't have the left hand that Andy Ruiz has, right? Just understand that Andy Ruiz really is almost as much, I didn't say as much, because Deontay Wilder has a 100% KO ratio, but Andy Ruiz is almost as much of a KO puncher as Deontay Wilder, in my opinion, today. You know, I'm a Wilder skeptic. I think Andy Ruiz is better than Deontay Wilder. I like Andy Ruiz over Sergei Lakovic in a heavyweight match going off in Phoenix later this month. I hope you give it a look. Thanks for stopping by.